Hey team, in this video, we'll be seeing how a labeler can annotate video assets within the Labelbox labeling editor. The first step is to navigate to the project of choice. Upon doing so, a labeler can simply click on Start Labeling, and they'll be taken, navigated to the labeling editor. From here, we can see all the different tasks and annotations that need to be performed upon the video assets. A labeler can choose which tasks to start with by simply hovering over and clicking on the corresponding task or by using the hotkeys next to each task. In this case, let's say we would want to start by labeling which part of the video a sequence of frames or a particular frame is in. Since this is the beginning of the video, we'll go ahead and select scene one and notice how we can see the annotation for scene one crop up across all our different frames. We'll go ahead and hit play. And suppose we want to switch over to scene two now. The way we do that is by clicking on this toggle and noticing how the scene one has now been clipped to the point of our interest and we'll go ahead and now switch to scene two and notice how this pink scene two clip has now appeared in our editor. We'll go ahead and click play Elsa? and continue this process. Do you wanna build a snowman? Now suppose want we want to go ahead and switch this to be scene three. Once again, we'll toggle this, go here, click on scene three, and now we see the green annotation corresponding to scene three. So that's how we can do a frame by frame annotation for what part particular scenes are in. Now let's say we want to move over to the time code caution section. We'll once again jump to the beginning of the frame and now we can go ahead and select which option most suits the particular frame or sequence of frames. In this case, let's just say that none of these options really fit, so we'll go ahead and hit none. And notice now that the time code caution annotation has now appeared below the annotation that we previously made. Once again, we can hit play and perform the same sort of switch as we feel appropriate. So suppose we want to switch over here and maybe select perilous, then this is where we can make that selection. And now we see the perilous section show up. So we've now seen how we can overlay two different frame by frame video annotations on top of each other. Moving on to the global classifications, for these, we would have to watch the entire video and make the determination. So we can just assume that we've watched the whole video in this case. And the answer to this question is yes. And for this one, we can go ahead and choose Elsa and Anna as being the two characters in the video. The last frame-based tool that we can investigate is tracking a person. So for that, we can click on the person and depending on where we would like to start tracking the person, we can go ahead and select the individual. And this will go ahead and allow us to start tracking this object. Now, before we track object, some things we can configure here are the amount of frames to track, whether that's one of the options shown here or a custom option or every frame after a particular frame. This is where you can make that configuration. And once we exit out of this, we can go ahead and see how the person or individual is being tracked. So let's go ahead and play. Do you wanna build a snowman? So we saw how the bounding box adjusts its shape and size based on different frames in the video. So these are different frame-based tools as well as global classification tools that we can make on a particular video asset. In addition to this, 
we can look at what the labeling editor looks like for additional configurations, whether that's keyboard shortcuts to help with the labeling process or adjusting the zoom for the frames. So over here, the default is 3.2x. If we wanted to toggle that slider, we can see get a lot more granular in terms of the frames. And similarly, if we want to zoom out, that's how we can do that. And we can also adjust the speed over here. If we want to go from 1x speed to 5x speed, this is the place we would do that. And we had seen the ability to jump to different frames. This is, can be accomplished by clicking over here. And we can also choose the jump amount if we want to use the keyboard shortcut for jumping across different frames. So the default is 10 if you want to use maybe 100. And let's say go here, we can see how uh, going between different frames, notice how the frame is changing over here. If we were to select over here, 404, 496, uh, it's just a quicker way to, to go through the videos. So just some options that we can configure uh, in terms of making the labeling process smoother. And if you want to look at more of the details corresponding to each video asset, we can see those as well. And if there's additional metadata for each video asset, we'd be able to see that as well.